G'day, g'day, g'day guys! Today I want to find out if you're going to run this on that. My Mick Welder gas supply, yes! So stick around guys, see if we can run my plasma cutter on my welding gas, my CO2. Will it run or will it not run? Anyway guys, if you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment and yeah, let's get into this. What I'm going to do guys, is just put the screw the regulator back on like so. Tighten them up. What I'm going to do is use this hose that feeds into the back of my uh, MIG. I'm going to take that out and then I'm going to put the uh, plasma cutter on top of my MIG machine. And then um, I'm going to hook it up and see if we can cut some steel, guys! <laughs> so this is the gas line coming out of the regulator, so I'll just undo it from the back of the old machine here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens, eh? Pull them off. There we go, so we've got a gas line and I'll uh, feed that straight into the back of the plasma cutter and then we'll see how we go. So I've got the uh, plasma cutter sitting on top of my welder, as you can see. My welder here, my plasma cutter here, so what I'm going to do now is, um, so where the compressed air went in here, from my compressor I'm going to put the, uh, the welding gas in there. And uh, it's CO2 guys, it's just CO2, so we'll see what happens if we try and run the sucker on CO2. Right, so there you go, we've got that hook all hooked up there. So, we'll just turn around and kick him in the guts. I've got the old plasma cutter sitting on top of the welder, and I've got the uh, CO2 line coming into the back of the plasma cutter now. So we'll uh, hook it up and see if we can cut a lump of shit with it, eh? So guys, I've got my CO2 hooked down there from my welding supply, so this is cutting 3 mil plate with CO2. Will it work or won't it work? Well, it cuts, but it's a bit rough and it's a bit slow and it just doesn't have the power that it used to have. And if you have a look at that cut, it's quite rough guys, so uh, yeah, it does work, but um, yeah, very slowly, you know, we don't want to do much more than this thickness with it because it's, uh, it's a bit ugly. Anyway, we'll do the same cut with the air now. So guys, same cut, same power settings on the plastic cutter, but back with um, compressed air. Oh, no comparison guys, absolutely no comparison. See how much faster that was, how quick it was, how clean the cut is compared to the other one. Because the other one was really, really ugly. And you could just feel in your hand that it just didn't have any power with it, eh? But in a bind, I suppose, you could get away with it if you weren't cutting much more than three more plates. The edge on that is quite a lot better than the other one. So anyway, that's another bit of useless information for you fellas. So guys, the moral of the story is, if you want a plasma cut, plasma cut with compressed air, basically. Or have the right gas mixture that you can plasma cut with. But uh, using CO2 that you've used for your welder, it sucks really. Anyway guys, that's about it for the useless information for this week. If you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, and we'll see you next time. Bye.